Hey guys, we are at the Little Missouri River, and this is the, uh, we're in the little parking lot for the Eagle, uh, Eagle Mountain Loop, oh, what is this, Eagle something, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I just know we're going to go about 30 miles. Should be good. Let's go ahead and lock everything up. Build my stuff. Trick and poles. And it's uh, 40 degrees and I'm wearing shorts and sandals because we get to cross the Little Missouri River up here. And it's going to be cold, and it's not going to be any fun whatsoever. <laughs> ah, heck. Should be a good weekend. It's Thursday. Uh, I don't know, 1 o'clock maybe, somewhere in there. Uh, that water looks chilly, don't it? We're going right up there, and then we're going to head uphill. So... There's just a little sign right there for it. We'll catch back up with you. Oh my goodness. That was cold. That was cold. All right. We're on the other side. We're going to be following white blazes. I believe. I thought they were blue, but I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, we immediately start climbing. And today I'm going to try to get in about six to eight miles. Uh, and the six to eight miles we're going to do today is pretty much all of the elevation and uh, coming down. And we're just following a bunch of ridges, uh, but there's quite a bit of elevation and quite a bit, of, quite a bit of down in this first eight miles. So if I could knock it out today, we've got uh, relatively flat, not flat, but you know, cruisy for the next, you know, 20 miles or whatever. I think this is a 30 mile loop, Eagle Rock Loop. So I'll uh, catch up with you guys in just a bit. Hey guys, <clears throat> I'm about two miles in, uh, just coming up the third hill, I guess is what they call it, I don't know, uh, boy it's pretty out here, uh, with all the leaves down, it's, I mean you can see the, the neighboring mountains, golly there's a ton of rock out here, being a rock climber, that just seeing all that stone just kind of it gets me all goosey. <laughs> all right, pressing on. Yeah, this is a cool trail. I know it doesn't look like it, but man, this thing is just going straight up. The last couple of hills have been kind of not switchbacky, but got up the side of the ridge. Get down there. Whew, that's a steep. That is a steep climb. Whew. Oh man. It sure is pretty up here. Walking through a bunch of pine forests and stuff. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Onward and upward, I guess. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, making my way down the backside of four, getting ready to intersect a little uh, parking area, cross a very, very wide creek, and then uh, up and over hill five, which looks like is going to be one heck of a climb. But uh, probably, depending on time, I'm going to camp between hill five and hill six there's water there also and uh 
walking through this burned little pine forest right here all the all the bases of the trees are burned up to I don't know 10 feet or whatever but it didn't kill the trees I mean they're all still green it's really kind of almost spooky back here it's really pretty man this is a really really cool trail wow very cool if you have the means I highly suggest coming out to Eagle Rock Loop and spending either two really long days or three fun-filled adventurous days like I'm doing. <laughs> I'll catch up with you. Hey guys, uh, day two, um, probably about uh, two miles, maybe three miles in, I'm not sure. Um, still paralleling this uh, this little creek until it runs back into the Missouri. Um, heading east now. I'm not sure how far I've gone. It's a good morning. It started out cold. I didn't record anything last night just because when I got to camp, I was so tired. I was so cold. Well, I tell you what, that Hill 5. Man, that thing will work you. Anyway, uh, it's really pretty out here. Uh, it's still pretty cold even though the sun's out it's uh turning out to be a very nice day this is the little river area that we're coming around and we've crossed it i don't know seven or eight times the trail continues down we've got another couple of miles of downhill before we reach the missouri river or the little missouri and then uh Apparently that crossing is going to be waist deep and a hundred foot across and it's still really cold. So I'm not looking forward to that, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I've already crossed this Creek enough. My feet are just completely soaked, even though I tried to keep them out of the water. <laughs> anyway, ah, cool uh, rock formations up here i'll check back with you guys in just a bit this is where that creek back there that i've been following for the last four or five miles and this is the little missouri river right here and uh Boy, it sure is pretty right here. Wow. That rock. Wow, it's nice. Uh, there's the confidence marker over there and the burn burn sign. And I guess it's, yeah, it's it's a 100-foot way to cross. Deepest it got was maybe mid-thigh. I got my pants, my shorts a little wet. But uh, it never was deep enough to hit the party button. So, you know, that makes me feel better. Uh, I don't know. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, it's moving pretty good, too. Woo, onward and upward. Yeah, I do my part and pack out other people's shit, but an entire fridge freezer? Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so. Sorry. Check this vine out. It's like completely wrapped around like a like a braid. That is really pretty cool. It goes up and braids again and chokes out the tree. Uh, we are coming up on the Albert Pike. Uh, whatever. Little uh, parking area or something. Uh, it is 12.56, 1 o'clock. I'm probably going to stop and make camp about four that'll leave me leave me enough time to do all my camp chores i got in late to camp last night i just didn't have enough time and got stuck in the dark stuck in a cold couldn't really film it was a really cool camp spot though it was right at the fork of two pretty good strong creeks so i had that to listen to all night that was lovely 
Pika Road down there. I would guess that's Albert Pike Road. I don't know. I'm not from here. I will just keep trucking. I know the video doesn't do this thing any justice, but this is absolutely gorgeous up here. Wow. This is the Little Missouri. We've done a... Goes down. We've been following this trail up the side and uh, continuing on. Man, what a great day. Man, what a day. I'm at camp. It's uh, about 5.45. I've already eaten, done all my camp stuff. Just kind of waiting for the sun to go down, I guess. <laughs> I am exhausted. Today was 13.6 miles. It was really tough because there was a lot of water crossings, man. And they... The part of the trail that I started on was marked really well, but this part was not. And I kept getting turned around and getting off trail, and it was pretty frustrating. Uh, but I pushed up. I was going to camp at like 3, but I decided to just press on and just kind of get as far as I could. And that leads me like right at 6 miles to do in the morning. Um, so that, I mean, that's not going to be any big deal. I'm going to, I'm going to get up first light and start breaking everything down like I did today. It's going to be cold in the morning too. It's going to be, I think they said 24 for a low out here. I don't know, right by the river. So, I mean, I've, I've got all the stuff to keep me warm, but, uh, breaking, breaking camp kind of sucks that, uh, Popping of the air mattress is no good. Oh man, I'm exhausted. Anyway, uh, didn't do a, a whole lot of filming today. Just kind of, I kind of wanted to just get to camp. I kind of wanted to just go as far as I could and not stop. But no big deal. No big deal. Mm. Talk to you guys in the morning. Good night. Mm. Good morning, everybody. It was a... I don't know if you can tell. It's just all frost. It is cold. My little stupid monitor thing says 24. Uh, I slept okay. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, even with my little liner and my booties and stuff, I still got, I still got cold. Uh, but I tossed and turned. I mean, I just, I wasn't very comfortable. And this is a good spot. This is a great camp spot. Just wasn't comfortable. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh well, so be it. Oh, get up and get moving. Looks like these dried. They're either dried or they're just, I mean, they're bendable, so. <laughs> these, on the other hand, did not dry. <laughs> it's, it's, they're, fro <laughs> they're frozen solid. <laughs> frozen solid, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, and my shoes are gonna be frozen to you. Oh my gosh. I'm not looking forward to putting those on. Uh, but I've got to because I've got to urinate. Just the top of the water got froze a little bit. Nothing. Oh, well, no. The whole thing froze. This thing stayed pretty, pretty groovy though. Oh, whatever. Crap. I guess I better get up. Oh, I'm not a one that's gonna be cold. Later. Hey, we are about 
Oh, three miles in, maybe. And this looks to be a little uh, look over. Oh, wow. It falls. Yeah, this is real cool. Let's go check it out. I've only got about four miles left of the car. I'm uh, doing okay. My Achilles is really bugging me. I can't really sure why. Wow, that was really, really cool. Huh. Look at that thing. Ooh. That pool down there. Wow, that is really cool. There's some more stairs to go down. This is really nice. Little, little Missouri. Very pretty. Very pretty. This trail's been really, really cool. I've really enjoyed myself. Very pretty. How many times can I say very pretty? <laughs> All right. Onward and upward. Hey guys, we are at the Little Missouri Falls Recreation Site. Pretty cool. Just past where all the bridges were. Uh, got a few picnic tables and whatnot. They got uh, functioning toilets. Uh, picnic tables, all that good stuff. It's really pretty cool. But now I must utilize the, uh, the bathroom area. Hey guys, last of the uh, last part of the trail. It's been really nice. I, I don't see this doing a lot of altitude gain or anything else. Missouri is really cool right there. Super flat, just rocks. Very nice. My trail goes up, up the hill and then around. Uh, so, I got about, I don't know, I'm not sure how much. I think four, but maybe less. Uh, to the car, so I'm just gonna push it, and I'll uh, I'll wrap things up when I get back to the car. All right, guys, that is the end of the Eagle Rock Loop. I didn't do a lot of I didn't do a lot of filming or anything today. I just kind of wanted to get done. Whoo! Look at that hair. All right. Oh my gosh. Fun trail. Really, really good trail. There's parts that could be marked a lot better. Uh, but, uh, all in all, it was a lot of fun. Uh, met a couple of good guys from Austin. Uh, one name was Charlie. I can't remember the other guy's name. I'm actually doing really good to remember Charlie. So if you guys ever see this, it was great meeting with you. Great hiking with you for a little bit. Hope your, uh, rest of your trip was, was safe. And, uh, I'm tired. That was, uh, that was not an easy trail. That was, uh, there was a lot of rock, a lot of rock, a lot more rock than I thought, a lot of river crossings. Uh, and apparently from what I'm told, the rivers are up. So that makes sense, I guess. Um, whew. tough three days. I started the first day out late, but, uh, that was the climbing up over the hills if you're familiar with the loop i did the hills the first day uh and i camped between hill five and hill six and i'm glad i did that because hill five was a beast if you've done this trail you know what i'm talking about so i'm gonna throw my pack in the back and my trekking poles and i've got an ice cold bottle of pepsi waiting on me in the front seat so I'm going to end this one right here, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, take off these sopping wet shoes, and uh, I'm going to go home and see my girl. All right, this is Frostbite, out.